If you start to see a little sweat on my five head, that means it's hot. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to prevent heat stroking your dog and overheating your dogs. This is very important if you have one of the bully breeds because these dogs tend to overheat a little bit faster than others. Keep watching, I'm gonna show you why. You can see that sun is right behind me and um, today it's actually a nice and cooler day. That's the reason why we're out here filming. But I wanna talk about overheating in dogs and why it is very important that you take preventative measures right now in the summertime. I know it's August already, but I still think that it gets hotter within the later months of the year, such as September and even October here in Colorado. I know some other states, they do not get any kind of cold weather. So this is very important for you guys. So when it comes to heat stroke in your dog, there's definitely things you need to look out for that your dog might be showing signs, such as excessive panting. You can tell when the dog is overheated, they have dizziness, they're agitated, they're a little bit weak, they're starting to see some fatigue, they're in desperate need of some water. Even dogs that are starting to experience a heat stroke, their eyes might be rolling in the back of their head. You can see that they're very hot to the touch. And if you have a white dog like mine, mine, if it's in the sun too long, it will start to turn pink and it actually could get a sunburn. So these are something that you need to watch for. There's plenty of more symptoms that you need to watch for as well. But these are some of the main ones, especially something like drooling. When you're deciding to take your dog out for a walk, it's best to walk your dog in the early morning, such as I like to start around 7 a.m. all the way up until 10 p.m. the max because I tend to see that these are the hours where the heat is starting to rise and the peak is really at 12 o'clock all the way up until like 4 o'clock when the sun starts setting in my time. Now, these are the times I like to do it or you can walk your dog out in the evenings. And it's very important if you're exercising your dog through intense exercise, such as me, you know, I like to do the flirt pull. I like to do a lot of weight pulling with my dog. That will be either early in the mornings, how I am right now, or later in the evenings or on a cloudy day as such as today. This is a cloudy day, so it's perfect. That's the reason why we're out here. These are the perfect times to make sure that your dog is getting exercise when it's nice and cloudy and cool. Another thing you wanna do is obviously keep bottled water around you with an extra dog bowl. This is very important. If you're out in the summer heat, you gotta keep that emergency stash with you for your dog because water helps them cool down. When you have obese dogs and dogs that are not very well exercised, they tend to overheat just a little bit faster because they're pushing a lot more weight. They're exercising a lot more and they're putting a lot more stress on their body. They can overheat just by exercising and the sun mixed together. So this could be very detrimental to your dog. So just keep in mind, if you have a heavier dog, this could be a very short period of exercise that you need to be doing instead of pushing long hours on your dog. And another thing you gotta watch out for is hot concrete, hot asphalt. The five second rule is very good to use. What I like to do is just put my hand on the concrete for five seconds. And if the concrete obviously is burning my hand, then I'm not gonna make my dog walk on that hot concrete. Here's the five second rule. Ah! No, I'm just playing. It's not that hot out here today, but this guy just got done exercising, so we need to go get some water. It's very important because obviously their paws could be very sensitive to heat. They can experience first degree, second degree, or even third degree burns. So you just need to keep caution in that. One thing I do advise you to do is just walk your dog on the grass. I think it's a lot better. If you notice you walk on the concrete and then you walk on the grass, it's more tolerable. Same with dogs, just walk your dog on the grass. There's a big open field like how I'm at right now. This is perfect for us. If your dog is starting to experience a heat stroke, when you see all of these symptoms happening, I know some friends of mine, some dog colleagues, what they would do is they will spray down their dog before it reaches a maximum level. When you spray down your dog, what you're doing is making sure your dog is getting cooled down. But obviously the most obvious thing is you wanna take them to the vet. Cool them down first, take them to the vet and make sure there's no damage that happened to your dog, you know, internal damage with their organs or anything with their brain going on. This could be having longing effects if you just let this prolong and you don't do anything about about it so it's very important that you get this done now when you have a dog that is like the exotic american bully or the pocket american bully or any smaller dog in that matter maybe even frenchies that have a shorter muzzle this could be very difficult for them too because they already struggle as it is when it comes to their breathing if they're panting excessively, that is a sign that they're trying to cool their body down. Now, if they can't pant with good airway, then that means your dog is gonna struggle if they have a short muzzle. So these short muzzled dogs, I highly advise you don't go too extreme with them just because they have you know, the problems with their breathing already. 
So I hope you found this video very valuable to you. It's a short video that I wanted to put together because it's summertime, it's peak heat right now. Even though July just passed, August is still hot for Colorado. I was just in Vegas not too long ago. It was 112 degrees out there. Arizona, it was 110 degrees. Dallas and Texas in general, it's very hot very humid so i know a lot of you guys are experiencing more severe weather than i am in colorado just take precaution making sure you're not pushing your dogs too hard and everything should be good now i have another video on exercises that could really bulk up your dog obviously you want to do this in the cool time but if you want to check out that video with five exercises to build muscle on your dog click on the video at the end screen and it will take you right there